Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. You guys, I'm bringing you a really, really fun topic today, and I've got the expert in this space right here with me. And so, Anthony, say hello to the audience. Hey guys, how you doing? Anthony DiClemente. So, Anthony is a rock star when it comes to, and I know this term may throw you off, and we'll get into it a little bit later, but he is the biohacker. He's got an amazing book out there. I encourage you to go buy it, read it, go through it, and study it. But what I want to talk with Anthony today that I think is going to help all of us is about breathing. I know, right? Sounds kind of crazy. But I was able to work out with Anthony here yesterday and we got to the gym, we started looking at things and he said, let's just breathe. I want to just show you some cool things. And as I sat there and we did this breathing exercise, I had this like aha moment, right? I mean, you know how many times you're on the bike then all of a sudden just boom, your, your head goes like crazy and you start getting these ideas? That's what happened. And all of a sudden it was like, this is just like when I'm on the bike. And so I looked at Anthony and I said, dude, like this brings back so many memories of when I'm suffering on the bike and this and that and the other. And he goes, yeah, I can explain that. And like, it's, it's really important that you understand what breathing does for you and how it's a game changer in lots of different aspects of your life. And I said, awesome, will you do that? And he started to do that and I said, whoa, 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 before you go too far, I've got to bring it to my audience at the same time because I want it to be real, raw, and not all of a sudden just pre-canned things that I want to talk about. So you can find him, he'll give you a way to find him at the end, and by all means, reach out to him, utilize him, but I want to bring this information to you because I really think it's a game changer for you and in your cycling world. So Anthony, I'm going to turn, basically, turn it over to you, Sure. take him where you want, but talk about cycling, how it works in our life, and why is breathing so important? Yeah, well, you, you kind of inspired me with your story about uh, when you were climbing and, and you were just feeling that extreme lactic acid burning your legs and how one of the ways that you circumvent that is through breath work. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then there were some parallels with what we were doing yesterday. And essentially, there's the chemistry component to the breath and then um, there's the energy component, right? So, so we know, I, I'm gonna interrupt you for yeah. one split second. Yeah. So, so what I'm talking about here, so you guys are really clear, I don't know if you've been on a, an hour long climb before or when you get to a half hour long climb, when you start climbing and all of a sudden you guys know that's breakaway time. Like a guy my size, that's when I'm looking to strike, right? Because that's where I shine, especially if there's a guy like Anthony in the pace line that they're trying to get over the hill with us because I know he's going to be the sprinter if it's a sprinter's race. So I'm just defining the moment of what I'm talking about. So when I'm climbing like that, I've got to know that I've got to be able to do this two, at least three times. If I make a breakaway and an attack comes, right, and somebody goes with me, I've got to be able to break again, and then I've got to be able to break the last time to make this, this actual stick, right, happen. And so if you're in certain races, that's all we're looking for is when we get on that, that, that climb for those opportunities. When that happens, you guys, the pain is unbelievable. You know that. Your legs, your body, you, you're you dying. And you know that they're dying, but it's he who can suffer the most, the wins. And that's when breathing, that's when I was talking to him, that's when I have to just, I have to call myself, I have to really go into this breathing state. And that's what he was talking about when he said that it's struck that. I just wanted to make sure you really had context. You can feel the emotion of what's there and understand how hard it is what your body's doing to you, and, and the, the mindset, go. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that was perfect. So there's essentially three components, right? You've got the chemistry aspect of breathing, you've got the energy aspect, and then you have the hormonal aspect. And we'll go through each of them and, and why they're so important. From the chemistry aspect, we know that when, especially when we're working out the way that you guys train, your body's producing massive amounts of CO2. Well, that CO2 is like the biggest source of acidity in your body. And the way that you clear that out is through your breath. And a lot of times, even professional athletes will work together and they'll have this shallow breath where they're, up, where they're staying up in their chest. So we need to breathe in order to get that CO2 down and drive and keep our oxygen levels high. Now, that ties into reason number two, which is the energy component. We know that you have these little energy powerhouses in your cells that fuel you on the bike and they're called mitochondria. These little mitochondria, these energy powerhouses, they make things called ATP. And that's like the energy currency in your body, right? Well, the things that are power plants, these mitochondria use, it's oxygen and food. So if you're not breathing properly, if you're not getting plenty of oxygen in, you're compromising your body's ability to produce energy, right? So 
that full complete breath and, and staying with that during those periods of suffering and, and when you're hitting your lactic acid threshold on the ride helps your body to produce more energy, more ATP, right? So that's the second thing. And then the third component is uh, what was it? the chemistry, ox, uh, oh, and hormonal, right? So then you're, you're dealing with this acute stressor. And, and sometimes if you're like Bart, some of you guys are on, in these races for nine hours, so it becomes a chronic stressor. But either way, the way that our bodies respond to these acute and chronic stressors is we get a hormonal dump of cortisol and we get a dump of adrenaline, right? The way that we can bring our cortisol levels, which is the stress hormone, back down, we can bring our body back to homeostasis is through the breath. And by staying relaxed and breathing deep, you bring your cortisol down, you bring your adrenaline down, and you teach your body to, to more effectively handle stress. And over time, with that practice, with your breath as your foundation, you're able to take periods where other people stay with chronically high cortisol levels and chronically elevated adrenaline levels, and you're able to operate closer to homeostasis and your performance improves. So those are kind of the three ways that the breath is important and ties into everything that you guys are trying to do. Yeah, so when he's talking about that, what I want you guys to really understand and why I brought Anthony in on this is, he's got a video and I don't know what it's tagged yet. If he remembers it, we'll, I'll make sure that you, you go look at this. It's on a YouTube video. And it, he basically just did a cold plunge. And when I mean cold plunge, I mean literally there's ice around in the water. He goes, takes all of his clothes off, except his skivvies. And he runs out, boom, jumps in the water, and he's able to take a full plunge in that, sit in that cold water, and breathe, and become one with what he's doing. And, and that's, that's amazing to me. And when I saw that, I was like, what are you doing, and why, what, what in the world would make some human being want to do that? And then I go, well, who the heck wants to suffer on a bike like us either? Right? I mean, it's just the same pain, it's the same, but being able to be in tune with your body enough to calm that down and, and tr take that. So, so explain a little bit about the cold and, and why the brain is like, what, what happens in the body in that, if you can, a little bit, if you remember the video title, make sure you tell them that. Really sure, so yeah, it, it parallels a lot with what you guys are doing on these really hard climbs. We're essentially intentionally stressing the body and then training our stress response so that we get our body to say, what is going on right now? We get that huge dump of cortisol and adrenaline, but then through the breath, we bring it back down. I'm using really, really cold temperatures. You guys are using a hill and a bike. And, um, but the overall process is the same. Acutely stress the body, bring it back to homeostasis through the breath and, um, and through relaxation. And with repetition, the same way that you get better with time as you work out, you get better at bringing your body back to a state of homeostasis through breath and relaxation the more times you expose yourself to an acute stressor without exceeding your ability to recover. I don't remember the name of the video off the top of my head, but our Facebook page is, is Anthony DiClemente and we've got all of them there. So every, every Facebook live video we do posts to that page, so yeah. Awesome, and then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll, I'll throw you a link to his book and you guys can be able to use that link to go get his book and different things like that. And, awesome and the book's stuff. free too. We're still, we're still giving away some free copies. Awesome. So you'll yeah. be able to get a free copy and uh, be part of the group. But, but the main thing I wanted you guys to get out of this is here's an expert, something you really don't think about all the time. Like I've never seen a cycling coach coach you on breathing. And I think it's obviously one of the most important part of success out there on the bike. So take that for what it is. Most important thing of this video is going to teach you today anything. Get out there and ride your bike. Have fun. Enjoy it. Keep cycling strong. We'll talk to you soon.